Hello, uh, welcome to this new lecture series. Uh, this is James and I'm your new instructor for SAT1 math, right? Math section. So let's first introduce myself because I, I guess that's the relevant, relevant introduction, I guess. So let's go to the board and let me write, write down, uh, <clears throat> let me write down something that you should know in front of me, uh, from me. So my name is James, uh, James, Harim you so I I attend well I go to Northwestern University and um, well I'm a math major and this is just you know this SAT is pretty easy concept so I wrote something uh, as a book uh, if you are Korean and if you can read Korean definitely you should buy this one in order to know me but for those people who, who already have been listening to my lectures on AP or uh, APBC, APAB, Differential Calculus, Integral Calculus, and also on SAT2, uh, SAT subject test, uh, Math 2C, you would probably know my style, right? But for those people who are new to this section, well, I would say I'm gonna go through these questions, uh, first section and second section and the third section for SAT uh, math sections. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that, you know, this actually is not a hard test and also I'm gonna teach you some basic materials that you have to know so in this SAT 1 what what is included is uh, is actually something like the following so if you think about the integers do you know any arithmetic for integer system so we call this Z right and we we use a we write down another a bar so we could we, we call this as integers so integers we, we could we could do some arithmetic like addition, subtraction, product, and uh, what uh, the quotient, right? And also from this, we could think about number theory. Number theory, which is a basic level of number theory, right? Have, uh, have you ever have you ever encountered something like fractions? Have you ever encountered something prime numbers? And well, number theory and integers, well, they are interconnected, definitely. Integers is part of number theory. So we're gonna look at those things as we go through the questions. I'm not going to explain this concept discreetly, but we're gonna say, ah, so this question actually asks you geometry in front of you and everything. And again, simple algebra, basic algebra, but we, I, I don't, I don't want to call basic algebra because basic algebra is much harder than something that you know by now. So I would say algebra that was offered in secondary high school and geometry, which deals with angles and lines and just lines on numbers. And we're going to look at why angles are 360 degree, uh, degrees and radian system. What is radian system? So I'm going to explain those concepts in front of you as I go through. So let's get started, right? So this is a question solution session in front of you. So I guess you have uh, the first practice test materials in front of you. As, as I go through, you could see what's going on, right? So number one, looking at number one, X was given, right? And all of the answers, A, B, C, D, E, what can you, what can you infer from this fact? You could infer that they are quadratic function, right? Quadratic. function so what you have to do is that since the number is what since the number is given as the positive number what you have to do first look at a right x plus 1 times x plus 4 is it x plus 2 which means you are adding the numbers from 4 and you are multiplying it which means this is equal to 5 times 6 right so this is a product sign in, uh, so I'm gonna use this product sign instead of x the notion and let's see b is actually equal to uh, x plus 1 x minus 1 which is equal to what uh, 3 times 3 times 5 
which is definitely A is bigger. And as you go through, using this intuition, you would see A is the biggest number. And this question is not even asking anything. See if you understand uh, the arithmetic between quadratic functions, all right? So A is the answer for you. And let's get into number two. Trains, uh, trains ABC passed through the stations. Train A speed was three times. So as you read through, what this type of question asks is whether you could understand the, the meaning of the sentences and at the same time, whether you could translate those English statements uh, into mathematical equations, right? So let's look at the second, second sentence. Train A speed. So let's, let's use this A, which is, I would, I would denote this as a norm which is the length, the magnitude of A, is actually what? Three times of, three times of B, right? So this, this is one mathematical equation that you could think of. And what about the, uh, the 30, uh, well, we're not done yet actually, right? C is actually equal to the twice of A, the speed of A. All right, we wanna figure out the C and what? B, right? So it was given that train B is actually seven miles per hour, right? What about C then? Now, as you could see, it is transitive, right? The speed function is transitive, which means that you could write, instead of A, you could plug A this equation into this function, right? Uh, into this equation, let's say. I, I wouldn't like to call this as a function because we haven't defined anything. So two times, instead of A, let's plug three times B, right? So this is equal to six and B, which means the speed of C, the train C is actually six times faster than B, train B. So if B is seven, right? Six times seven is equal to 42, right? The 42, uh, if you look at E, uh, the choice E, that's the answer, right? So this is how you solve this question. And let's get, you know, let's, let's kind of speed up a little bit. All right, let's look at number three then. All right, arithmetic mean, what is the average? What is arithmetic mean? Arithmetic means you are adding something, you are subtracting something, right? So it, arithmetic mean in this case is something like the following. So elements, addition of elements, addition of elements over over number of elements is actually arithmetic means. So in this case, we are given with what? x plus 5x, right, plus 6x over, we have three elements, right, over three is actually equal to eight. Now let's do some arithmetic. It, like literally, right? So, I, uh, so 6x plus 6x is equal to 12x over 3 is equal to 4x, which is equal to 8, right? x then must be 2, right? So the answer must be B, 